So if you watch maybe the last video, I can't remember. I, I'm all scatterbrained with what videos are coming out and when. But I, I don't like the way that my kitchen cabinets and the, the doors have come out. So I'm going to be making that raised panel for this. Uh, I'm going to be doing most likely a two inch border around the outside and then have a raised panel inside that. I've got some oak. I want to do maple, so this is this is just a test to test my theory, test the, the painting that I'm able to do. And we'll see where it goes. So I'm going to make the panel real quick, mock that up. Nine inches is way bigger than what I need. Nine. 18. So on all these panels that I'm going to make, I'm going to join these together with biscuit joints. That's the reason I bought the biscuit joiner. I'm going to biscuit joint this and glue it together. I'm going to hit that with the power planer though because those don't line up too pretty. I really wish I had a joiner. If any of you work at like Powermatic, Jet, whatever, any of those big companies, you want to send me some cool tools, I will not object. Now this piece of oak was $25. I actually bought two of them. I don't know why I shouldn't have just bought one. So I spent already $50 on just this mock-up piece, not including other things that are gonna be involved in this. But I'm gonna rip this to two inches and I should be able to get all my, uh, my edges out of this. Right now I'm trying to decide if I wanna do 45s in the corner or have them butt. Uh, also deciding how I wanna join those together. Do I wanna do pocket holes? or use a, a uh, tongue and groove, or use biscuits. P, is that you? Rene, you need to chill out. What are you getting angry at? There is something out there, I'm gonna get it. Rene, probably not a good idea. Could be a skunk. Rene, do not mess with it. It could be a skunk. Oh, they got really good, man. They remind me of my early 20s. Yeah, Rene, no, don't smoke the pots. So I'm going to do a couple tests to see what I what I feel strong and what I, what looks the best. Obviously these doors aren't going to be like kitchen cabinets because they're going to be inside of a metal frame. So they don't need to be as strong as like normal kitchen cabinet door fronts. But I also want them to be nice because, I mean, why not? Why would you not try to be good at what you do? So... Trial and error is what this video is. You have no idea how many of these I have to make. Like, it's gonna drive me insane. If you don't think I'm insane already, stick around. Let's bring McDonald's into this. You know, let's stop hiding, running from the truth. So these two pieces of wood I need to join together. It's not, I mean, that's not bad. I want fresh cuts on both of them though. Oh, they are cupped big time. See, this is where I have, if I had expensive tools, I would make them perfect. Run through the joiner both ways, done. Don't have one of them fancy ass tools. They cost a lot of money. So, I've got the cheap version of a joiner, basically a power planer. I'm gonna run these through this. Oh, that went right in my fucking drink. You know what I'm learning is that if I enjoy doing this type of work so much, I might as well buy a joiner and a, you know, it's, it's not, I beat the hell out of that tool, so I'm not totally upset with it. And that 100%, yeah, uh-huh, 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 I mean, it's a 30 second. We'll get it in the clamping procedure. Arrows. Figure four, figure five, figure six. All right, whatever. I'm done with that already. The last one I had was port cable. I thought it was a little nicer. Yo, they're fucking going on the same guy. All right, easy, easy, Dan. You're going to offend your viewers with your vulgar language. Well, you got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, cut your face. Oh, red mark indicate. That's it. That's zero. There's a little mark on the inside corner here. Red mark indicates what it is. I'm at 20. I want. I want to use the 10. That looks like half of what I want. So that's good. Firewood. I think we're good. Set this on 90 degree. Boom, boom. I set the depth at the. Where's that number? Right here on this side. Three eighths, which is half of what I'm doing three quarters. All right, now we just need to do two reference marks. So I, when, when you're using a biscuit joiner, you want the 
the biscuits to obviously line up. So you just butt these together, and then I figured out where I want one on, on this piece and the other one right there. So I'm just going to transfer these lines across on both sides. And then when you're using this tool, there's like multiple different markings. A little dry fit, a little testing tester. I couldn't be, I could not be more unhappy with that. You've got to be kidding me. You have really, like that's a joke, right? That's a fucking joke. If you don't use this absolutely correctly, then it's gonna it's gonna throw it off. And well, I love you, I absolutely love you, but your machining on the bottom of this plate is disgusting. Look at it. You got you can clearly see it. It's just it's poorly machined. Oh, and it's bent right there, and it moves. Why are you kidding me? Come on. I mean, I really don't want to throw you under the bus, but that is disgusting. That is clearly not good. So I messed with the biscuit joiner again. Obviously, I didn't change everything when it was shipped. So there was like some shipping. Maybe, I don't know. There was some minor mistakes. But I unloosened a screw here and then readjusted it. And it's, it's all right. It's not absolutely perfect. I'm not blaming Amazon because this is... This is manufacturing, and I'm sending this back. So I readjusted it, cut two new pieces, and I got these to join together. It's, I'm still not happy with it. Really, honestly, I'm not happy with it. It's, they're off. They're off. But since this is a mock-up, it's all right. It's close enough. I'm going to send that back, though. <sighs> I'm angry. Bitter, bitter bat, bitter Dan. Obviously, I'm going to use some type bond. I'm going to use two here, but when I do my actual doors, I'm going to use type bond green. I don't know what it's called. Is that three? I'm using a green bottle. I don't know if I have any. I don't see any, but not this one. Turn it. Chill. There's a mouse in here. The peanut one's dead. Just a little slobber of glue here. A little slobber of glue here. I'm all right with a little spill out. You know, biscuit. Oh, that's a. that looks like a pubic hair. Yeah, that's a pubic hair. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave that in the video. It was a joke. You you damn people need to calm down. Probably should glue those too. Put a little... That's all right. They're getting full coverage. Oh, there's way more pubic hairs. All I have is these absolutely asinine massive clamps. Obviously, next time I do this, I'm going to clamp this much better. I'm really striving to make these joints absolutely perfect because reduce on the sanding and stuff. But I want to make that as seamless as possible. So this is done. So I'm just going to rewind a little bit. But why did I put the biscuit joint way in versus out here? Um, this is obviously going to be a raised panel. So I'm going to be routering almost two inches off the edges on these things. And I don't want the biscuit to be routed out so that it's, it, it's, it's exposed in that that beveled edge I'm going to put in it. So I put it way inside. This is the smallest panel that I'm going to be making. So they're really close to each other. I think after this one, I use 10 on that. I'm going to use a, a number 20 biscuit for for the rest of them. I'm still sending that back because I'm mad. That's, that's not good, the wall. Lonely, 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 lonely Careful, copyrighted music. Rip them two inches. I've got this router bit installed in my new router, but I had to serious modifications. I had to cut a piece of plastic to fit that thing in. And you have, like, this bit does not, this might be a disaster. I, I don't even know how to tell you. And then I put the tongue and groove bit into that thing. I ran some half ass rough tests. That is going to be the raised panel profile. And then I ran one of the grooves. This is the, the back, top. This does not fit inside of that right now. But what I'm going to do is router it once. And then I'll raise that bit up a little bit. So it'll bring this portion down a little bit. So it will fit in there. And I'll get a much cleaner cleaner cut. Because you see that? I mean, obviously, I didn't. I wasn't. I, I mean, honestly, I was drunk. 
So first thing I'm going to do is router that groove into the side rails, the, the styles and rails, whatever they're called. And then we're going to formulate something and it, we'll just, just stay with me. You can leave if you want. I'm all right with it. It's not the first time I've had somebody leave me. <laughs> So at this point, I need to kind of decide what I want to do. Do I want to use pocket holes to connect the corners together on 45s? Do I want to use biscuits on 90 degrees? Or do I want to do a tongue and groove or like a mortise and tenant type joint? Um, for ease and for the fact that it's sitting inside of a metal frame, I'm thinking pocket holes are going to work, but I'm, I'm, I'm lacking... I'm lacking material, so I'm gonna take a mental minute and figure this out. It would look so much nicer if I tongue and grooved it, but God, to line that up, pain in the ass. Round two. Looks a little nicer. So much nicer. Holy cow. First impression overall, much better quality, much nicer. The only thing is this was like $30 more and it was supposed to come with the smaller blade that you would put in here so you can do like the zeros maybe even think it goes to s it goes to like real small okay horses i got, got a full house of horses today so i'm gonna have to deal with them as background noise order cable my second favorite i right know what are you doing i'm looking for the mosses you let me know if you find them i will i will Oh, you know about it. Pernod, what are you doing? Come here. I'm getting a lot of shit because you weren't in a couple videos. You know that? But I don't want to be in the video. What are you doing, Peanut? Well, I'm looking. I'm looking for the mouse. I know they're around here. You know what? They come out now. I'm going to stick. Just becoming neurotic. Originally, when I, you know... Obviously, this video is taking like two weeks. Obviously, because I got like a new, new biscuit joiner. But I had made, I had made a raised panel. You know, I went and finished it. The lighting never works well. Why don't you just zoom in a little, and then just stand back, and then you're more in the light. That's just pleasant. Okay. So I've decided that I'm just bad at storytelling, and you know I shouldn't tell stories. Obviously, this is like many. Like, this is a couple week project, because obviously I got a new biscuit joiner, and that doesn't happen instantly. So I had returned that and bought that, and here we go. But I that night that I was filming that, I made a raised panel. And it, you know, it came out like this. I did 45 degree angles on the sides here. And I tried different methods of fastening it. And then I decided that I was gonna use like a biscuit joiner on this corner. and. It, just not, no, no, just no. I spent the last maybe four or five hours making this. I did, you know, that whole type of thing with that type of thing and, and did that type of thing. And I think it's absolutely perfect. This took me three to four hours to kind of line up. Obviously I wasn't like thinking completely straight. Once I got drunk, I was able to get it where it was pretty damn close within sandable distance. So when I do do the final you know, assembly of all these things, I'm going to mass produce a lot of this stuff so that the lining up of these joints is easier. If I were to you know, change the router over and do different things, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. So long story short, I'm going to make these go together like that, okay? A lot more work, but overall, the finished product is way nicer so much stronger. It's just sexy. Oh, God. If you're a DIYer, I wouldn't recommend any of this type of work. This is, this is going to drive me insane. It's going to bring me to the brink of insanity. Don't joke about insanity. It's a serious problem that affects 99% of humanity. I know. You come to work with me one day. I can deal with it on a daily basis. So right now I have a piece that's one inch bigger on both sides than the hole that I have right here. When I do my routering, it's going to knock that down and leave me with a half inch here, here, and here to slide into that, that groove that I've created inside this panel right here. If it's off just a little bit, I'll take it to the, 
the chop saw, I'll chop off a sixteenth, an eighth, whatever it needs to be. I'll re-router it, and then I can fine-tune it inside that hole. So when I take it to the router, it's going to make that profile, and it's going to leave me with this like flat edge right here. But I still got to glue this up and then uh, give it a good sanding. What I'm going to do is mass produce these. I'm going to have all my frames ready and just make them all. Uh, I am going to remake this entire piece right here. I just wanted to get kind of an idea of what it's what it's going to look like, what the uh, finished product's going to look like. What I've been doing for the last two weeks, three weeks, is making all the metal frames that go everywhere, all the closet doors. This is one that's going to open like this, and I've got the closet doors. I've, these literally take about two hours to make each one of them. A lot of welding, grinding, and making it perfectly square because that's extremely important because everything's square in the house. Now General Finishes did send out the finish so that I can complete these the way that I want to. It's like a, a charcoal paint and then it's a white paint and then it's like an amber glaze on top. Bunch of steps in between that you got to do. So that's what next video is going to be. I'm going to finish doing this piece, glue it up, sand it, make sure it's all ready to go and then we will do the finishing process in the next video and then I'm probably going to step back for a little bit on making videos and make these panels because it's a lot of work i got to get a lot of oak oh did i say that that i'm going to go with oak but i am making progress and getting it done it's it's a process i think it came out pretty cool one problem i had when when making these is that back edge right here this back side is so small it was chipping off so you can see like right here this whole groove chipped off uh, I can't have that happen on the final round. So I'm probably going to make that a little bit bigger, maybe more of a quarter inch here, which means this panel is going to stick out just a little bit more. It's already sticking out too much. Deal with it mentally, physically. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave some great knowledge down below, you can always leave it down there. If it's really mean, I'll delete it. I've just been deleting a lot of comments lately. A lot of hate in this world. Don't know why we got to be so hateful. Hey, a little positive goes a long way. Makes me feel good. Makes me, it's motivational. I've got this one lady. She joined the channel last, like three weeks ago. She's literally watching every video in order and she's commenting and it driving me nuts. She's probably going to see this, but it's all right. She's driving me insane, but I'm letting her go because they're not like that mean, but they're annoying. They're like, shut up. I don't, oh, now I'm sexist because it's a woman. Oh God. Oh, jeez butt hurt world we live in these days i can't take it anymore but thank you again for watching peanut was in this video and i thought she had a funny clip so we're good on that i did some organizing you see this i know it doesn't look like i'm organized at all ever but i've cleaned that up and then all my tools are all right here now i mean absolute chaos i got sanding pads ready to go